Hello, I hope everyone is having a great day. Today, I will be discussing a National Geographic documentary called Drain Alcatraz, the world's most notorious prison. Alcatraz, formerly known as The Rock, has held the reputation of an inescapable prison. And now let's dive into the evidence in the documentary that will support this claim. Specifically, we will explore the 1962 escape attempt by Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers, as well as testimonies of Bill Baker and the significance of the outgoing tide and drain in the bay. In the documentary, The World's Most Notorious Prison, Ranger Cantwell, a man who has currently been working at Alcatraz for over 15 years, describes the infamous 1962 escape attempt by Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers. The prisoners planned their bid for freedom, making a homemade raft to sail away off the island. He quotes at the 14 minute mark, dummy heads were made of concrete material with human hair glued onto the heads. And at night with the lights down, it looked like they were sleeping in their cell. Their disappearance, despite being presumed dead by the public, remains one of the great mysteries surrounding Alcatraz. The documentary also features a testimony of Bill Baker, a surviving inmate who was sent to Alcatraz due to his repeated attempts at escapes from other prisons. Baker's firsthand experience emphasizes the role of the water in making Alcatraz an inescapable prison. He claims at the 24 minute mark, that water is the wall that kept us here and it killed a lot of people trying to escape. Baker's words underline the deadly and treacherous currents as well as frigid temperatures of the San Francisco Bay. His testimony serves as a reminder to the insurmount insurmountable barrier faced by those attempting to swim to freedom. On June 11th, 1962, the day that the three men escaped, an event occurred that further solidified Alcatraz's inescapable reputation. The outgoing tide during that time reached its peak. The documentary explains that a deep gorge in the bay funnels the water into a powerful jet stream moving westward beyond the Golden Gate Bridge. The drain causes the seabed to rise tremendously, reducing the depth from over 300 feet to just 130 feet. The racing current creates massive waves reaching heights of 30 feet. These are sand waves as well. This visual represents the challenge faced by a prisoner attempting to swim through these waters. And as we can see, there isn't much current going straight towards you know, the land. So in conclusion, the evidence presented in the documentary, Drain Alcatraz, the world's most notorious prison, supports that Alcatraz is an inescapable prison. The 1962 escape attempt, as described by Ranger Cantwell, highlights the ingenuity and meticulous planning of the inmates. But even this is not enough to get back to land. Bill Baker emphasizes the deadly toll of the surrounding waters and furthermore, the outgoing tide and drain in the bay reveals that the ferocious currents that make Alcatraz an inescapable prison. Alcatraz serves as a reminder to the limits of human resilience when faced with a near impossible challenge. The documentary serves as a testament to the unwavering commitment of Alcatraz's guards and the force of the surrounding elements. As we look back on Alcatraz's legacy, we get reminded that some forces of nature are undefeated to the most desperate attempts to break free. Thank you.